Hello, we're here today to meet Alan Sykes, the Technical Director of Tokamak Energy. Tokamak have recently moved to this new Enterprise Zone development at Milton Park, so let's talk to Alan and find out more. So, Alan, thank you very much for inviting us in You're today. Uh, before we start, can you tell me what a Tokamak is? Well, a Tokamak is a toroidal vessel, donut-shaped vessel, and it's used to contain a hot fusion plasma. Um, we're trying to recreate what happens in the sun, which holds the plasma together by gravity. Uh, but on Earth, we need to, we haven't got gravity, not big enough, we use magnetic fields to contain the plasma, and the tokamak is the most promising method of doing that. Excellent. And what's the history of the company? Well, together with a colleague, Mikhail Grasnovich, we worked at Cullum Laboratory for many years, and about 25 years ago, we pioneered a, a new uh, device called a spherical tokamak. It's, it's a tokamak, but with the hole in the middle shrunk really small. And we, we showed that this was uh, far more efficient than a conventional tokamak in holding a plasma, uh, a factor of three. In other words, you could get uh, only a third of a magnetic field would hold the same amount of plasma pressure. And so we set up a company in, in the Innovation Centre at Cullum to exploit this. Uh, and then we outgrew those premises and we moved here to Milton Park about a year ago. So what do you do at Tokamak Solutions? Well, we started by designing a neutron source. Now, neutron source is immensely useful because you can use the neutrons to test materials. Um, you can transmute the nasty waste from the present nuclear fission power plants and you can develop medical isotopes. Uh, but then we came upon a new discovery which let us realise that rather than just producing neutrons, we could perhaps actually produce energy uh, from, from a small-scale tokamak. And, and this was such an exciting project, we recently changed the name of the company from Tokamak Solutions to Tokamak Energy Company. Interesting. So what is this discovery then? Well, the discovery is about 30 years ago of a, a new type of superconductor. Because spherical tokamaks, as I said, are, are very, very efficient, uh, but they have a very small centre column. And normally, if you have a copper conductor in there, you need to put millions of amps up there to generate the field you need. And with a copper conductor you, that's so small, you just couldn't do it. And ordinary conventional superconductors wouldn't help very much because they can't stand the very high fields required. But these high temperature superconductors can actually pass very large currents in a very small volume and do it in very high fields. So we think we can now for the first time see that a spherical tokamak with all its advantages of efficiency can have produced the very high fields you need to actually produce fusion energy. Exciting. So what do you need to do? Well, we're proceeding in stages. We started off by building a, a, a copper coil tokamak uh, and to test out uh, techniques for long pulse measurements and start up a plasma. Uh, what we've done the last six months of a year is, is develop these high temperature superconductor for tokamaks. They haven't been applied to tokamaks before. Uh, and that's it, there's several stages in that, and we're doing that in conjunction with Oxford Instruments. So, I've heard the fusion community talk about the ITER project. Yes. How will your spherical tokamak compare to that? Well, ITER is a worldwide project. Um, it's building, extending from the results from JET experiments. It's about three times bigger than JET in every dimension, so it's a huge device being built in the south of France, and it's costing about 15 billion dollars uh, and, and, and rising. Um, when it was designed about 40 years ago, the only way they could see of getting more power out than you put in was to make the thing very large indeed. Uh, because at the time they thought that the efficiency went up as the, the cube of the radius, so making it very big would make it work. But following various innovations, that the confinement time is better than we, we thought, in other words, the plasma keeps its heat better, and the possibility of these spherical tokamaks having high fields, as I've mentioned, we, we plan to be able to do the same sort of performance on a very much smaller scale. And that means we can build fairly quickly, test various modules out, uh, and, and proceed much faster. And Tokamak has um, a very impressive um, scientific and advisory board. Can you yes. tell me why, why that's required? Well, we're at the forefront of, of research in this and we really want to tap into the brains of the world's experts at this. And we have worldwide experts and several fellows of the Royal Society 
and, and several former engineering managers and directors of the ITER project itself who are very keen on uh, seeing fusion actually occur in their lifetime and I think our company has the best chance of, of making that occur. Well, excellent, Alan. Thank you very much for explaining that all to us. It sounds like you've got a really exciting future ahead of you. Yes, we think we have. Yes, thank you very much. Brilliant.